the doulas the doulas the doulas that I know they um they don't really not the doulas either but just the mid not not, not just the the doulas but midwives as well that don't work with the city um their cost is is of course different because they they don't have that um they're not partnering with those type of uh organizations and corporations so it's a little bit different like the pay scale and pay rate but you know the city has offered that uh, incentive to people for the communities i would say um and there was a present one of the present one of the presenters they gave information on a bus which was very reminiscent of the womb bus that they have in the bronx so nyp and um and some and i forgot the other organization they're going to have a a wellness bus that they that they uh, that they claim provides holistic care to the communities of color or underserved communities. You know those words are interchangeable, and you hear them a lot. So you know, I was I was very uh, taken aback by that because how are allopathic um, health practitioners talking about holistic care? That's that's not your scope. So I, I raised my hand and I was, you know, during the Q&A part and I asked, what does a bus, what does holistic care looks like, look like on the bus? And they said, oh, well, you know, it's, it's a mobile bus that offers services and, you know, they offer meditation and uh, in addition to, you know, immunizations and, and things mm -hmm. like that. And I'm like, um but that's yeah. not really holistic care. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Right. Correct. That's, that's that's more like regular wellness services that can that can um, compass all of that. So no, I, I agree with you that's Yeah, we could right. not do that. Yeah, so now both. because you know they're they're taking notice that we're not going to these institutions and we're facilitating, you know, ancestral practices. So they're they're getting well, not hip because they, you know, holistic is not a new word, but now they're they're marketing, you know, the services that they provide on somebody on with words that with buzzwords, right? Because you're gonna, oh well, I know somebody that does holistic care or you know X Y and Z holistic care, and that's not the same care that you're going to get in that setting versus if you went to a actual holistic practitioner. That's so, great. Yeah. yeah. The buzzwords are real out here. Yeah. You, gotta, you know, we have to be careful of, you know, those buzzwords are usually owned by the AMA. So certain words we can't use like cure and heal. But so those are their words. You know, we can say we help the body to heal itself. Okay. That's really who the healer is. It's not me, you, or the medicine, or the supplements. It's the us giving the body what it needs, and it it does what it has to do. So I want to just keep us out of jail. <laughs> Putting Correct. that on any of our flyers. Don't put it on yes, your flyer, yeah. on your website. That's not our lane. We don't do heal and cure. We just... Correct. Help the bot help the person to heal themselves. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Um, so we do that. Okay, let me make sure. Okay, that's that. Since I just pressed the record button, let me just make sure I captured. Okay, the new member orientation. So we went over the mission. Okay, Olivia, you want to read our history? Are you able to do that from where you're at, Ma? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, our history, inspired by the book African Holistic Health by Dr. Laila Africa and his six week. Uh, let me see. Your screen is kind of like blocking the rest. Uh, uh oh. Uh, Second, mama. Let me see if I can move over. I don't know how I can put you somewhere else in the corner. Let me see if I can do it this way. Okay. Okay. I will do it this way. I got it. Okay, six-week holistic health practitioner uh, training course. The idea of the African Holistic Health chapter of New York 
was conceived in 2004 by Ivana Sister Shai Tompkins. Sister Shai recognized the need for making self-empowering health resources available in the New York area and invited Dr. Lila and other notable uh, holistic health care health instruct, uh, instructors to come and share their knowledge. Um, there was there was also a need to assist graduates of Dr. Africa's courses and students of other teachers who were not practicing what they learned due to lack of confidence and support. More planning and work started bringing the idea into reality. Then, at the prompting and guidance of Dr. Lila, the African Holistic Health Chapter of New York was born in 2007. Since then, the AHHCNY has brought in powerful holistic teachers from around the country, like Texas, um, based, based holistic health educator, Dr. Akua from Philadelphia, Philadelphia-based uh, uh, reflexologist, um, Dr. L. Hagan, California-based um, audiologist, Dr. Paul, Chicago-based chemist yoga expert, uh, yes, uh, Yerser, Ra, Hotep, and others. Our mandate has since uh, expanded to include public outreach designed to expose the public to various holistic healing modalities and provide our members with increased business opportunities. Since 2010, the chapter and its member have been um, per, have have been the future uh, holistic wing of the annual International African Arts Festival in Brooklyn, New York. The chapter makes resources and memberships available, along with the bi-monthly newsletter with over 4,000 uh, subscribers. Social media, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Any questions on that? Does that make sense to you guys? Any questions you have? Well, the questions that um, I have, so um, for the volunteering, is it uh, um, with different businesses or is it um, just on festival? What is it exactly um, uh, that we can apply for, like to, to uh, volunteer at, at what kind of uh, businesses? Oh, well, it's going to definitely holistic health businesses for sure. Um, it's going to be um, amongst all of our member practitioner businesses when we do any of the festivals, whether it's Harlem Week or Dance Africa or whatever, and you come and you volunteer, um, we're going to get to the list of the different things you can volunteer for. We want you to volunteer for something you like doing. You know, you may decide you want to work with the, the raw food booth, that you want to volunteer, you want to work with prep. But we're going to get to all of the different things that you can possibly jump into. So I don't want to point you and say you're going to do this and that. I want to find out what you like doing. So that's why I want to um, allow you to experience this orientation so you can see the lay of the land and see what, where, you, where you may want to plant your feet at. So we're going to get to that as well. Okay, so that's the history. Um, okay, you already know about the background check, so we don't even need to stop there. We can keep going. Um, because we got a, we have a lot of new people coming into the chapter, and you know, you want to make sure no terrorists or nobody is going to be messing with children. So we have to just start checking people out. Because then someone gets hurt, they'll be coming back to us and say, well, you sent Phoenicia to us. And we didn't even check Phoenicia out to see that, you know, she likes to pinch people's butts and stuff. So we want to really make sure that everybody, and I'm just really, really joking with that, but I just want to make sure that, you know, that we're sending practitioners that are clear, you know, issues. And if you have issues and you serve your time, just let us know. We're not going to say you can't be here if you serve your time and, just let us know. Don't let me do the background check and find out. <laughs> like, do you have something you want to tell me first before I do this? So, you know about the background check. And then we have all our social media. Stupid thing keeps popping up. Stop it. 
So this is all social media where you can find us. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest. Okay, you can read that. So we don't need to read that. Let's keep going. Also, what we do, a lot of times we get we get corporate events. And when we get um an application for a corporate event, these are a list of the different services that we tell them that we can provide them. Hand reflexology, aerodology, blood typing, like all of these are just different services that we could bring to any festival or any corporate event, a church event, a private event, because we do private events too. Okay, so anybody want to read some of those items there? The services that we bring? Phoenicia, you ready? Yeah, I'll start. Okay. okay. Hand, hand and foot reflexology, iridology reading, blood type counseling, neurolinguistics programming, ionic foot detox, holistic. What is holistic film screening? Like, say, if they want to have an event, they will, maybe they want some a chair massage, reflexology, some iridology. And we want to see a film too. A lot of the seniors, they say, can you bring like a holistic film like Food Matters or okay. Food Inc. or uh, um, Dead Fat and Nearly Dead? Like they may want to see a film along with why they get in the services. They can all be watching the film while they're waiting on other people to get their feet done. They could be watching a, a documentary. Wow. So that's okay. something else okay. that we could bring as well. All right. Mini facials and body scrub, mental health speakers, chair and table massages, shiatsu massage, colon, uh, col what is that? Colon health and therapy. Yep. Mini yeah. Holistic, mini uh -huh. holistic consultations, uh, breath workshop, ear candling, Reiki treatments, Kundalini yoga. Quantum full body scans, comedic yoga, acupuncture, natural hair care, aura and chakra cleansing, comedic Reiki, prepared vegetarian, vegan, raw food, vegetarian, vegan, raw food preparation workshop, prepared juicing and smoothies, inversion table, therapy. Um, sacred rock tours, grounding therapy, off-site retreat space. Pre wait, what is this? I? Okay, prepared juice. Okay, I think I had said that twice. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, that's okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait, am I on the same line? Okay, <laughs> Bro that groceries. Let me take time, <laughs> mommy. Hold on, let me just delete that. No oh. way. What did I do there? Okay, I need to see that. Okay. All right. Okay. Grocery store, food preparation. Oh, oh. wait, my jump. Grocery store tours. Okay. Grocery store tours, doula services and training, wellness workshops, wellness goodie bag, aromatherapy, wellness parties for seniors, vegan food preparation, astrology and numerology readings, full body massage, pranic healing, Thai yoga massage, yoni and lingam wellness. Um, mm -hmm. well, li yoni and lingam. Yoni and lingam steam. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I do those too. Chiropractic Good. care, air acupuncture, herbalists and nature walks. I did one with Dr. El Gahan. Okay. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's funny. Um, um, martial arts, wellness demos, and wellness speakers, urban gardening workshops, and herbal walks. Let us staff your employee health and wellness day. Let us plan and coordinate your employee appreciation events. Chapter Holistic Health Services are grateful corporate employee health and wellness events, church health fairs, and any other community wellness outreach program, and private pamper parties, retreat, and conference. If you don't see what you want listed, we certainly can find it 
to complete your event. Okay. So that's all a million things we do. And, <laughs> and you guys are always going out and learning something else too. So that's why I say, keep me abreast of what you're going to add because that's a modality that maybe somebody may want at their corporate event. And we could tell them, okay, yes, we, we do this, we do this, and we do that. Any questions on that part that's clear? Okay. Okay, I think we got, so we got, okay, I, I we got our chapter manager here, I think. I think that's you, right, Khadija, is that you? Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, this is our chapter manager. You're going to let them, everybody see your, your pretty face, Ma? Felicia is our new member, and Miss Monifa, um, Molivia, she's our new volunteer. So I just want them to see. Okay, that's Molivia. Yeah, just give me a, one minute to get my face ready. Oh, girl, stop it. Okay. So, all right. So, let's see. Okay. Now, I just want to go over so you are aware, as especially as volunteers, you got to know who who is teaching what. I want to just go over our practice uh, instructors with Dr. El Hagan. He's the one who the first one. He does reflexology training. And Dr. Dr. Kua, she's one who does the, the natural path training and doula training and iridology. And her website is a lifeofpeace.org. She teaches pretty much everything. Holistic Reiki, maternal Reiki. She has like everything you can want to learn in a holistic space. She has it. So she's, she's kind of taken off the mantle from Dr. Africa. He used to teach pretty much everything, but now she's taking that baton from him. Then we got Dr. Yashia Rahatep. He does the comedic um, yoga. Yoga as it was on the temple walls of the of the temples. That's what he does. Because that's what it originated from. This is Brother Raman, Raman Hotep of Life Spring Rejuvenation Center in the Bronx. And he's the, our iridology instructor. This is his wife, Deanna. And she's she teaches basic massage. She does teaches stone massage. She does colon therapy. Um, and she does the raindrop massage. And she's also the one who got us into the Young Living Essential Oils. So she was our essential oil specialist. And Brother Madutri's right next to her. He does martial arts training, gemstone training. So uh, me, mainly the brothers who want to, you know, get into martial arts and being a healer as well as a martial artist, he's the one you could speak to about that. Then, of course, we know Doc, Dr. Jill Pukram. She was an, um, a neurosurgeon, but now she's doing her own thing and teaching about the brain, the brain balancing therapy. That's one of her specialties. And in our newsletter, you'll see a link in terms of how do you get to her website um, to find out, to take a class with her. And then this is Dr. I call everybody doctor, but <laughs> Dr. Z uh, Zakia, and she does the herbology. If you want to be certified in herbology, she does that. And she also is essential oils also. Um, this is that Sister Deborah Singletary. She teaches astrology and numerology, but her real thing is really astrology. So if you want to add that into your toolbox as a practitioner, along with your consultations, those who open astrology is also a good thing to see where, think why things are happening in people's first, second through 12 houses. And then we got Dr. Jeff Noble. He does the pranic healing and the MLP training. And NLP training is the where different trauma stores in different pillboxes of your brain so he teaches you how to open the pillbox and de release the stress and deal with your trauma in a different way so that it doesn't stay stuck in your body and keeping you from moving forward in your life great training that is um this is sister io handy kendi she teaches the breathology if you want to be trained in breathology she's great with that this is dr john gray 
and he trains in the chairman's the chairman songs, but he has a special one called Tai Chi Chair, which is a combination of chair massage and Tai Chi. You just gotta you gotta experience that. It's amazing. Um, then we have Dr. Woodbon, who is a retired naturopath and acupuncturist in Harlem. He doesn't really teach, he doesn't really take on clients, but he does teaches. Um, if we call him in to teach something, he'll come in and teach. And then we got Sister Niamo. She's out of Jersey and she teaches in Reiki one to one through three. She's asking for people to be part of her beta testing because she wants to she wants to train some nurses in Reiki. So, you know, when people are um so the so the nurses will have another tool that they can use on the job. But she wants us to do a beta testing of that program with her. So you're interested in doing the testing of that training with her before she goes live with nurses. That's what she's asking us. So if you're interested, you could in the newsletter is um a whole flyer on the the, the Reiki for nurses training. Okay, so that is Oh, that is our instructors. Uh, let's see. And this is our benefits and membership. So are we going to go back? Uh, Khadija, you want to read that? Sure, I'll read it. Um, hey, discounts on wellness services and classes. Discounts on practitioners insurance, participate in chapter SUSU, establish business lines of credit and funding, subscription to Veg News, free ads in chapter newsletter bi-monthly, uh, mentoring with opportunity to work alongside holistic veterans, participate in various events and festivals in NYC, participate in corporate and private events, um, fellow member practitioners participate in demo at the chapter meeting, um, which is biannually. Uh, discounts and opportunities for, excuse me. That's pretty cool, whatever that is. That's my flag. <laughs> oh, cool. um, thank you. So, uh, so referrals from fellow member practitioners participate in demo and chapter meeting, discounts and opportunities for continuing education, opportunities to become an instructor, uh, participate in chapter chat on Facebook, chapter t-shirt or sweatshirts, join a chapter field team listing on our member wellness centers and affiliates page, referrals for unique services or um, for unique services, holistic dentist, uh, house calls, members only, email blasts, energy medicine courses and newsletter, uh, accounting services, feature interview on chapter YouTube channel and access to videographer, uh, commercial production services, website production, hosting services, chapter incubation and chapter wellness team. So some of our social benefits are uh, our chapter camaraderie, no one has to work alone. Uh, the newsletter is the Apollo Theater for practitioners. So literally anything and everything that you have, you can go ahead and put it out on there. Um, the chapter meeting is the Grammys. Meet chapters, best and brightest, learn latest modalities, latest products and services offered by fellow practitioners, create collaborations, add any needed trainings from fellow practitioners to supplement your credentials. And you also get to know your fellow members. So you get on their speed dial. Uh, practitioners insurance, so energy medicine practitioners insurance, you can use discount code C3E. So you can receive a discount for your insurance. Any questions? Felicia, how does that sound? Because I mean, that's that's all that we do. I could never put all of that on a, on a brochure because we every time we turn around, we're adding something else. <laughs> no, I mean, it, 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 it sounds right. It, it feels okay. right too. Okay, so everything. So no questions. 
Olivia, no questions, Ma? Uh, no, no questions. Okay. I have a question. Um, yes, ma'am. I just recently bought um, a practitioner insurance um, and it covers me for like energy work and um, yoga. Um, I'm also ordained um, for like the Universal Church of, of Life. And I just did my first wedding, which happens to be my sister's wedding. Oh, um, congratulations. Last, thank you. <laughs> last, last month. So, um, I don't know. I guess I lost all of what I was going to say. But um, in terms of like the insurance, what 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 does that look like? It, well, the the uh, the energy medicine insurance. If you go to the energy medicine insurance, uh, I'm sorry, energy medicine practitioners insurance. Go to that their website. Um, mm -hmm. they have three levels. They have if you have, I think one to ten people in your wellness center, which that's pretty much most people do, I think. And I think that it used to be like $99 for that. Then you had another level if you had 11 or more, and then you have another level if you have up to 99 practitioners. So based on that criteria, you could decide which one is best for you, which best, which one you need. I think now for the, the basic standard one, I think it's 240 now to get that basic insurance. And if you got okay. it from them, but you forgot to put your code in, I think you could probably call them back and say, I bought the energy medicine insurance, but I forgot to put the discount code in. And they'll put no, it in. And... Unfortunately, no. I have um alternate okay. balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I said, as long yeah. as you guys got coverage, yeah. that's what I want. I don't want y'all here working without nothing, whether it's this insurance or something. Oh, yeah. Something. <laughs> Don't want right. out here without a condom, you know, because that could right. be, anything could happen. Right. With a client, you know. So, so you said you forgot your point, huh? It'll come back. <laughs> okay, it will come back. See. Okay, so this is just some uh, upcoming trainings. That's so I want Olivia to see what's upcoming, what's ongoing in terms of. The training, so when people ask, like they're going to ask her before they ask us because she's a volunteer as well as Khadija. So, who teaches her biology? Oh, by the way, sis, Kadi, um, Zakia is going to have one coming up this year. So, you know what's coming up, you know how to answer that stuff, or you could just send them straight to Khadija's booth. Not Khadija, I keep mixing your name up, Zakia. So this is our upcoming trainings for this year. Herbology, breathology, reflexology, chair and table, Reiki, pranic healing, comedic yoga, holistic health, meditation, brain balancing, meadow netter. That's what I meant to, to mention with Brother Infandishi also teaches people to meadow net if they want to learn how to reach the glyphs. They call them the glyphs. That's his specialty. Okay, still, let's move on. Okay, so just so people don't think the chapter is like a church where you got to leave your family and all your business and we have to have everything, all your money and all your attention with the opposite. We want you to take it yourself first and your family. And if you have time for us, you have time for us. But I don't want people saying, I lost my wife because of the chapter. If y'all had them going on. So these are just some of the things that we want practitioners to, to focus on. And as well as your, you know, your business and stuff. We want you to make time for. Anybody want to read that? Is it, is it Olivia's turn? Uh, yes. Uh, chapter culture is self-care and family first. Uh, stay on top of your health, even if uh, allopathic meds require. Stay on top of your home affairs, spouse, children, elders. Continue your holistic, holistic studies. Enjoy comedy and dancing. Have some fun. Take vacation and family, friend time. Stay on top of your finances, impacting your credit score. 
get your annual checkups for medical and dental, make time to sleep and self-pamper retreats and spa uh, castle, spend time with elders of your family, explore yourself. How does that sound? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever joined an organization that tell you that? They usually like, no, you're ours. But we want it to be the opposite because we see too many practitioners just die, you know, <laughs> because it's all about the revolution and you never get to regenerate, never get to take care of yourself, never get to go to the dentist. Like, no, we're not, we're not having that. You want to take care of yourself. Okay, so these are some of the examples of who we think would be a good fit for us. So anybody want to read who should join? Who's, who's up? Is it Felicia's chance again? I believe so. I should turn my go ahead. One second. Uh, who should join? Reiki and perennial healers, gemstone and magnet therapists, virtual assistants and volunteers, natural hair care practitioners, mental health therapists, NLP, earth grounding, vegan and vegetarian chefs, personal trainers, naturopaths, iridologists, yoni and ligand steam therapists, acupuncturists, hypnotherapists, energy light workers, shamans, chiropractors, dietitians, health coaches, healing movement dancers, yoga and meditation instructions, practitioners, sound healers, colon therapists, aura readers, tarot palm readers, martial artists, osteopaths, naturopaths, <laughs> physician's assistant, holistic there we go. <laughs> nurse practitioners, nutritionists, holistic dentists, traditional Chinese medicine, healthcare professionals, physical and occupational therapists, massage and chair therapists, homeopaths, herbalists, podiatrists, aromatherapists, holistic GYNs, doulas and midwives, EFT specialists, CBD professionals, breathologists, holistic event planners, etc. Anybody we missing that you think we need to add in there? Not, you know, the only thing I could think of is like, um, I don't know if you want to add them, but maybe like a law of attraction um, therapist or... What do I call that though? That's what I call it? Law of attraction therapist? I, I think they're like law of attraction practitioners. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll add that in there. I have yeah. um it what is it called? When it comes to when it comes to how do the people John is John is telling me John who is our chair and Tai Chi chair therapist. Hello everyone. Peace, greetings. Peace. All right. All right. Good to see everybody. You want to tell me more about Tai Chi Chair? Oh, okay. Um, well, for a uh, Tai Chi chair is um, is a technique that I've developed over the years, about over the course of fourteen years, and what it what it entails is um, it's a fusion of of all of the massage modalities that we learn, you know, throughout throughout our uh, training, and um, you know, of course, that's you know your sweet dish, your um, you know, your, your typical, um, you know, uh, effleurage, petricides, and so forth, where you're kneading, you know, muscles and so forth. And of course, um, acupressure and um, just breathing, you know, combining that with breathing, balance and awareness and intention. And so what it, what it does is it, it um, actually becomes a therapy where not only does the um, the the client you know get benefit, but the practitioner also gets gets a benefit as well. And um, one of the greatest benefits that I I receive is the ability to um, not get tired. <laughs> I 
I could do massage all day. And um, I've been doing this for uh, over over 20 years now, um, professionally about 18 years. Yep. So if you have any questions about it, I should be also starting a class um, coming up next month. I haven't determined the date, but um, I am working on some of the material now so that people can be ready, you know, and prepared to, you know, decide if they want to join in and learn how to take care of family, friends, and loved ones. Yeah. Okay. And you said, now we said law of attraction. You said manifesting something? Yeah, manifesting. Um, I have a friend. Coach? Manifesting yeah. coach? Yes, that, there you go. Okay. Manifesting coach. Yeah, I, okay. I should not remember the exact name. I'm like, wait, law of attraction. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll add that in there. I am. In addition, Zakia, who is our herbologist, she's also a graphic designer. So she designed this whole Who Should Join piece. So if you ever need graphic design work, John does graphic design and Zakia does graphics if you need flyers and stuff design. So a lot of a lot of practitioners, we have other services that we can offer. So if you need something designed, this is the guy or Zakia will help you, okay? So you got to meet John. He wasn't on the schedule, but <laughs> happened to be moving back and forth through here. <laughs> Good to see everybody. Much success and welcome aboard. Thank you. All right. All right. All okay. Right. So who should join? So um, our years and years of doing festivals, some uh, practitioners have been naughty. So we had to come up with a list of attributes of practitioners so you, you will know what we expect. And volunteers expect you to behave. We don't want you cursing no clients out or nothing like that. <laughs> no matter what they do. This is the attributes of a practitioner. So now if you feel like there's something we should add when we finish reading this, let me know. Every every orientation is going to be different because we're going to wind up adding stuff. So who's up for reading? Is it Khadija? We back to you now? Yes, I believe it's my turn again. Okay. Um, standard attributes of a holistic practitioner. So great bedside manners, um, love for your community, Honesty and patience, level of spirituality, clear and concise communicator, give wellness advice, not a sales pitch, punctual and professional, live a holistic life, make referral if above your knowledge base, be polite, accept how clients present, accept, accept them where they are, basic knowledge of anatomy and physiology, basic knowledge of holistic health and nutrition, be a helpful team player at events, uh, have, have a loving spirit, heart, humility, and decency, good hygiene, and modest attire, meet with great attitude. Anything we need to add, folks? That's all we ask. <laughs> I mean, I think this is a pretty good list. I don't think... Because we didn't have it before. I can't think Some of anything else would... to add. Okay. Okay, like I said, if you think we need to, because we, you know, when we have every festival season, something will come up. I'm like, oh crap, we, we have to add that. So people will come into the chapter knowing what's expected. No cursing out a client is not, you know what I mean? Don't say their feet stink, you know, don't do that kind of stuff. They're coming to you the way they present, and that's how you accept them the way they present. Okay, so this is just basically letting everyone know. Especially as volunteers, people want to know how much to join. Do you want to be a non-practitioner or you want to be a practitioner or you're a small business? So we have different rates. And then we have, a, you know, little examples of who would be, would qualify for what level. You know, somebody who's not a massage therapist, but, you know, they like to save the, save the, the animals or the advocate for organic, whatever, whatever. They're not a practitioner, so they would qualify for non practitioner but anyone who's into the modalities that they would get you know no you know the more level that you are then the more benefits you get and there's some people who are small business where they want you know they need help getting lines of credit and all that kind of stuff so different levels get more benefits hi that makes sense i'm trying to keep it simple and easy 
someday we'll get that corporate sponsorship so we can get our mobile. Uh, like Phoenicia was telling me about this um kind of kind of sorta health mo holistic mobile out there. So I want I would like to have a, a real one, like the real deal oh, kind okay. of one. Right. <laughs> And you know, get a sponsorship. I mean, the boom bus is the boom bus is pretty good, and I've I've seen like a lot of over since during the uh, the past three years, I've seen a lot of mobile businesses sprang up. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's so it's, it's it's coming. Yeah, I believe sure. it's coming. I know it's coming. It's coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's some memberships. Um. This one, this tab is basically, you know, just getting feedback from the membership and the volunteers in terms of what are you getting out of out of the membership? Do you what are you getting out of it? What you feel like we don't have, we need to add, like this is what this is. If you have issues about your clients, you know, you run into a snag and you don't know, you know, who to ask about someone with MS or whatever, you know. The chat is the place that you can go in the chat to chat, ask questions, you can call me. Sometimes it's an allopathic thing. We have to pull Dr. Kokai in there. So we just want to know like what your what your what issues you're experiencing as a volunteer or and you don't have or a member and you don't have an answer. So that's that one. Okay, we did that one already. Okay, let me keep going. Da, da, da. Okay, this is my practitioner to do to do list. I will love my practitioners to do this. So Felicia, I think it's your turn, Mama. Okay, all right. Practitioners to do list. Update credentials and bios for practitioners page. Bring current bring dues current join your local chamber of commerce article or youtube submission to newsletter to get you more business and and events respond to the referrals you receive build business credit tier one to three savings account for festivals establish emergency fund Stay on top of your business affairs, tax return, news, newsletters, appointments, grants. Help a struggling practitioner by sharing resource and sending them referrals. Refer credible members to join our growing family of practitioners. We need bilingual practitioners. Apply for minority women business enterprise certification. Life and death insurance will and health proxy oh yes yeah. so if you guys can just take a picture of that because <laughs> that's something that everybody needs to keep current i mean i i need to look over that myself with some stuff i didn't haven't finished my health proxy and stuff i have it but i haven't have it notarized by the lawyer yet so if something happened to me y'all don't have to hand no hat around you know and that happens a lot in the community at large where someone passes away and you know we got to scrape this and we got to scrape that to to put them in potter's field or whatever so and as us as being you know we want to be mindful of you being successful businesses and leaving something here for your children this stuff needs to be in place so you can close your eyes when that time comes with a sense of peace <laughs> that everything is where it should be. So does that make sense, Felicia? That's a lot of work, I know, right? Yeah, no, it's just very much needed. Even outside of business, that will and, and living trust and all of that stuff, that's very important. Yeah, and that's um the will and the, the, uh, the trust and all that. That's something Brother Ramin, he's one of our instructors at Life Spring Rejuvenation Center. That's his area. He shows you what you need to get in place, your will and your trust and all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, I've I've met I've met brother brother Raman. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. He, he wants you to get it, get it in, get it done. So I have to get I have to get mine done as well. This is, you know, just the fund funded is 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 kind of pricey, but it's something that needs to be done. <clears throat> 
So that's your to-do list. Okay, just so you know what's come, what the upcoming events are for this season. These are the upcoming events for the season. We got the BAM, we got Street Fest, which I hope you guys can jump in and volunteer and have your business represented with a booth. We have the Harlem Week, day one, August 13th. We got the Black Veg Fest. I haven't found out what their rates are. Last time I checked, they wanted $400 just for one day. And some practitioners were like, Cheyenne, I'm not doing that one day for $400. Um, then we have the Harlem Week two day, the two-day event. Um, and that's very well attended. Yonkers River Fest. We're, we're, we tend that every year, but we're going to move to a different spot where there's more people. Because the place they had us near the water, it wasn't many people there. And we've been trying for it to pick up several years, and we're just going to abandon that and just go on the main strip where all the people are over there. The Holistic, the Holistic Health Fair in Co-op City, that was virtual for that past already. The Lock Fest, I think that's going to be in Commodore Barry Park. I don't know about the attendance of that as yet. So I don't know if maybe you want to go. I'm not I'm not sure about that one. The New Life Expo that's coming up in October. So they just moved that to Park Slope, Brooklyn. So I would love the E out of this one. Um, and usually when we do the, the New Life Expo, we kind of pull all our pennies together and get get a booth as one and share it because his booths tend to be like $1,500. <laughs> um, so that's what's coming up. If you know of something else that's coming up, you think we should jump in, let me know. Okay. <clears throat> and those who want to participate in any of the festivals, this is just a checklist of things you should pack for it. So who's up next? Is, is this um, Olivia? Is it your turn to read? Yeah. Preparing for festival season 2023, samples of items to budget for. Reliable volunteers, generator and inspected fire extinguisher and gasoline, uh, lanterns, uh, cooler, trade shows, check a list, uh, tarp, jumper kits, flat bed, practitioner of food vendor insurance, tent with sides, Food handlers permits, um, temp, temp street vendor license, uh, NYS uh, attestation, transportation or U-Haul, phone charges, uh, signage, chem recorder, toolbox, step stool, banners, product display, flooring, water, protective uh, crystals, credit card swipers, phone with Wi-Fi. Water, fanny pack, clipboard, heavy duty extension cord, cash box, receipt box, books, uh, mailing list, power strip, business error or postcards, basic supplies, first aid, folding tables, chairs, lightning, weight or tent, fine, tent, steak, uh, cloths to dress tables, audio visuals, waterproof, product bins, lunch and snack. Wear very comfortable shoes, sneakers, sandals, um, load payment apps on phone, cash app sell, Ven uh, Venmo, Apple Pay, PayPal, Square, uh, trade show checklist with the website, um, great office of supply sources, QVC, HSM, Quill, Staples, Harvestable, Office Max, Amazon, and eBay. Okay, so this is just like I said, just a sample from history from us doing it for for thirty two years. These are just uh, just a small list of what you need to bring for your booth. But you may have a different kind of booth, so you may have things we may have left off here. But as long as you know what to pack for your booth, it's fine. That link below will will send you to like a another trade show list of maybe some other stuff we left off that you should may find useful for you to pack. Okay. Okay, so in preparing for the trade show, um, we should have 
postcards for the African Street Festival soon. They We usually have them by now, but they're so late getting started with that. But they usually give us a stack of cards like this that we can mail out to our clients so we can tell them where we're going to be at the festival. So by the time we get there, our, our, our clients are waiting for us already. Um, we asked everyone to wear some kind of protective crystal. Um, Zakia can tell you, maybe even Khadija can advise on what kind of crystal to wear so you don't absorb so much energy from people when you're working with them or you're volunteering or whatever. Ask that you stay hydrated, that you stay hydrated, we're comfortable. Shoes, no high heel shoes, none of that. This is not. This is a work. <laughs> nine hour work day is for nine hour work day, so you need to be very comfortable. Um, a strong chair, strong equipment. Um, they make equipment that will withstand up to four hundred forty pounds now. Um, most reflexology chairs will hold up to three fifty, but now they're up to four forty. So have hardy equipment. Because our people are hardy people. They're not mangy and they ain't skinny. So make sure you have strong equipment. And please eat a hearty breakfast. Eat, eat some grits or some oatmeal or something substantial. If you want to do the smoothies and all of that stuff in between, you can. But you're not going to survive in the heat of a festival on just smoothies. That's That your body will blow through those electrolytes and you'll be passing out so we don't want anybody passing out because they don't have enough um nutrition for your body to pull from when you're working because a lot of times we work we'll be working to some extent we don't we don't even get to eat because the money and the tips be flying all over the place and we're like we just want it it makes you want to keep going i mean at least me maybe i'm greedy but it just makes me want to keep going so it's good that you have that you satiate it with nutrition and that you have a a nice belly of food to get you started. So, you know, then when you get to the festival, you can eat a little that, a little this, and have some water, bathroom break or whatever. But it's also good to pack a lunch. Just in case we can't get away because it's too bitty, you can have your little sandwich right under your, in your little um, pack. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're getting to the fun part that, Olivia wants to talk about. So this is where we're having our, looks like we're going to have our chapter volunteer meeting June 16th, if all goes well, with our beloved chapter business manager, Khadija, who is online. I should be calling you Kamaat. Kamaat, not Khadija. Kamaat, I'm sorry. So who's up to reading on why volunteer? Is it Felicia's time again? Or cut, you know what? You know what? Um, Malivia, you want to read that? Because I know this is the area you are most interested in. Uh oh, you there? All right. I can, I can. Miss Go ahead. If, they, if she stepped away. Yeah, she's, she's sharpening. Okay, so our chapter volunteer meeting will be June 16th of 2023 at 12 p.m. You can contact me. I'm Khadija. I have to update some of that contact information. Um, but you can take that phone number. That is my personal number. Um, why volunteer? You can get college and community service credits. You can also learn the business side of holistic health. You meet lots of new people, over 50K people if possible. You learn lots of new things. You undertake new challenges. There's free wellness service services to experience as well. Uh, there is a sense of helping the wellness community, which, I mean, a lot of our practitioners are helping and serving our communities, and they're not really getting the support themselves. Um, you get a free chapter T-shirt earn tips from practitioners, letters of recommendation for school and potential for hire with a practitioner or wellness center. So these are some of the benefits. Okay. Did Olivia get back? Cause this is a part she wanted to know about the most. I'm not too sure, but, but I have a question. Go ahead, mama. Um, do as members, can we volunteer as well? 
I guess you can. I don't see why not. Okay. I mean, because I always suggest people start um start as a volunteer, especially when you're just graduating out of your modality and you're just trying to kind of get your footing under you and you want to get a feel of what it's like being in the field. It's good to work under another practitioner as a volunteer. I mean, Khadija, you want to comment on that too? Um, well, from my experience in the past, I've worked with um, Dr. Rakua, and I've worked with uh, Dr. Niyama, and in both settings, I was able to really, you know, get a lot of knowledge from them and learn from them. Um, Dr. Rakua has mentored me in, in the past, and you know her she has like a lot of insight on certain things within the wellness community especially uh being a practitioner that is um operating out of two different countries so uh i've also worked with um brother Ankh rising sun um and i volunteered at the International African Arts Festival, where I was able to meet a lot of the practitioners and to, you know, have conversations with them. You talk with people, you know, you introduce yourself and you really, like, basically, most of the questions that you may have, you know, a lot of the practitioners here are open and welcoming to give you an answer or at least refer you to somebody that might have a better one you know, um, but it has been very rewarding and it has been a great experience, you know, a good learning experience when it comes to working with the other practitioners. Yeah, I think I find, yeah, I think it's a great, it's good because you get, to me, when you, when you volunteer, at a, to help another practitioner or work at a festival, you get to learn what the life of a practitioner really is before you jump in. <laughs> it's it's like a day in the life of Shai, a day in the life of Dr. Cool, you know what I'm saying, in terms of trying to juggle, you know, people buying stuff and they're asking questions and their feet hurt and what else do you think I may need and all of that stuff, kind of stuff. It's just, it's when you go to these festivals, everything comes at the volunteer. Everything comes at you at once. Right, Khadija? Stuff you don't even know. Like, Sister Shaggy, what should I say? And that's okay. <laughs> ask me. But it's a good, it's a good idea. All the stuff that you've learned, the doula training on all the stuff that you got in your belly, this festival's mm -hmm. going to pull everything out of you. You're going to find somebody, something that you've learned that you're going to just be able to share with them and guide them, whether maybe they need to come to your center, make an appointment with you, or you need to send them to Khadija or whatever practitioners are the, that are there. Like I said, it's, like I said, nobody can talk about how the festival is with Khadija because she's, she's there. I think we almost worked her to life when I don't even like to say the death. But which is really what I mean. But I'm saying, <laughs> I mean, be, between opening the tents and setting everything up and keeping everybody in line with the cheer traffic that comes. I was here first. No, I was here second. I mean, you know, Khadija, they're like, no, I was here first. No, I was yeah. here second. No, you get a, how can you drop me? I yeah. mean, people get real gangster when, they hit, when they're wellness. Is on the line. <laughs> yeah. I never seen people fight over reflexology chair before until we got to the festival and people was like no but then some people are like no sis it's okay you can go first there, there have been some angels that have come along that have been the but then have been some like uh-uh you told shy 10 minutes you won't be done that lady asked for another half an hour i'm still want you know that some of them are just unbudging and khadija just has to rub their hands get them something to drink you know it's a lot of cajoling that the volunteers have to do to keep everybody calm mm -hmm. and so that everything can keep going as planned and we don't have to call the cops over because people, you know, people get, I've never seen people get so feisty over a massage in my life. 
Um, but it, if especially if it's a nice, if we have four nice days for street fest, mm -hmm. people they will wait for hours. Especially if it's their favorite practitioner. No, I don't want to go to this. I want to go to. I'm going to wait for that one. And sometimes Gajija's like, listen, she's booked all the way up until nine o'clock tonight. Let me take you over to John. Let me take you over to Ramen. Let me take. That's what I'm saying. That, that she's like the best person to talk about how crazy the it gets for volunteers. You know, we have to let them go take a break, go eat some lunch so that they can continue because, you know, they get a pile on. Like practitioners, we just still working. Work, we, you know, the y'all keep us where we just doing this all day. But y'all got to deal with the sales and the returns. And I dropped my peppermint oil and I broke it. I just bought it. Like you got to deal with, what is that called? Customer service? Everything else y'all got to deal with. Like, anyway, sometimes people go into sunstroke. <laughs> you have to stop what we're doing and get them stabilized. Get, get the, 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 the truck, the first aid truck to come over. So. It's so much stuff that the volunteers got to do, but we're going to go on to a whole list of things that volunteers do. That's the next flyer here. And you just decide where you fit in, where you feel like you, um, because um, I like you to do what you like doing. I don't want you to do something like you don't want to do videography. Maybe you're a good customer service person. Maybe you're a neat freak, so you want to keep everything neat. You're good with sales. So these are just a list. Who wants to read just some of the list of what our volunteers do? And we suggest that you only do one or two of them. We don't expect you to try to do all of these. So who's up for reading? <clears throat> I'll, I'll read. I don't think the other the other sister came back from shopping. Okay, no worries. This is the thing she wanted, so maybe I think she's shopping. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you got to get it where you got to get it. Yeah, um, I understand. Mm -hmm. Customer service and sales. Um, keep booth neat. Practitioner hydration. Maintain waiting room. Credit, cash, digital sales. Book future appointments. Maintain appointments. Write customer receipts. Phone, text customers vet and direct customers to appropriate booth for service they need, inventory management, set up and break down, store runs, lightning of tent, maintain generator, fire extinguisher visibility, maintain Dynatrap. That's the mosquito machine. That's the mosquito machine. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, maintain product flyers, chair traffic, client sign mailing list, um, signage, videographer, close and open tents daily, social media posting, <coughs> keep equipment charged, maintain banners and display. That's a lot. So we need a lot of volunteers. Poor little Khadija, she's trying to do all of this. <laughs> Bless you, Khadija. I'm grateful for you. Ooh yeah, so we have a lot of openings in the volunteer department. So any questions on anything here, Felicia? Mm, no. No? Yeah, so maybe uh, see what else does that. Okay, so this is for practitioners who may need a line of credit for the business. When you're ready, when you're at least making forty five hundred to ten thousand in monthly sales, you can get a line of credit for your business. When you're ready, for that. Oh wow! You need me to go back to that. Yes, please. I'd like to take a um. A, 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 what do you call those? A screenshot. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm going to send okay. it to you. I have a oh, PDF okay. of it. I'm a PDF of it and I'm going to send it to you. Oh, okay. All right, then. So you'll Please, have continue. it. It'll, it'll be, you, I mean, you remember, so you just, you can get it. 
<clears throat> okay. <laughs> chapter no nos. Who wants to read the chapter no nos? Since there's only three of us here, Khadija, you want to go back? Since she ran away too. All right, Felicia. I guess it's just me and you, girl. Uh, all right, no worries. It's just me and you. Let's go. I got it. <laughs> chapter standards. Chapter no nos. No competing with others, only compete with yourself. No spreading of your religion, be example, be an example of light. Don't violate any cap any chapter relationships. No stealing clients. If good, you will get referrals. No setting up on another practitioner's tables without clearance from them. No discrimination. Don't use medical terms, which are owned by the American Medical Association. Don't discourage clients from taking their meds. Check your ego. Can't save everyone. May need to refer. We don't claim to heal or cure ever. We don't use medical diseases, but describe it in layman terms. We are not, we are no substitute for medical counsel. Is there a is there a like list? I have a you know that's that's my only question in regards to this. Is there like a list of words that shouldn't be used that the AMA use? Anything like like diagnose, cure, mm -hmm. prognosis, you know, like their stuff. Okay, so so medical jargon basically. Yeah, that's that's they've colonized it, they they trademarked it. Don't put it on your literature. Don't put it on your website. Don't put it on your business card. Right. Okay, good. And I know because sometimes I, I would speak a certain way and people be like, why are you saying that? I'm like, because I don't want to get sued. Yeah, because this is like, going to protect oh. yourself too. You know. Yeah, I mean? yeah. And I want our practitioners to be protected and not have a, a bullet on their back, a target on their back for saying stuff like. Correct. You know, that, say. that also. Yeah, I don't want us to, I mean, because I know Dr. Sabi went through his whole thing with it, but it's like, I don't even want to put us in there where we even have that on us. Like, I don't agree. Cure. Don't use heal. Just don't. <laughs> the body does that. We don't do that. We right. Just, right. Even what they need in the body does all that other stuff that they don't mm -hmm. want us to say. So, yeah. What yeah. you got to say, Khadija? Anything you think we need to add that makes sense? It doesn't make sense. No, it makes sense. I think you covered it all the bases. Okay. Okay. Because I'm, you know, I'm always open to add something else. We you see we got room to add something else. No, I don't think I have anything to add for now. Okay, so I think we're pretty much at the end. You know, we usually have a chapter theme song, but we don't need to sing that right now. <laughs> at the end. We got the Lean On Me by Bill Withers, which, you know, is basically for practitioners not to feel like they're alone. You know, you, you, you need something. You know, you're falling short to get your festival fee. Shai, can you lend me $100? I'll give you back your... You know, learn to lean on each other and not feel like you're by yourself that you can't ask. You know, so that's so we got the Bill Withers version and we got the Club Nouveau hip hop version. So either one is the same, but we just want you all to know that we can lean on each other as practitioners. You don't have to know it all. You don't have to be cute, the cutest, but the smartest. Some things Khadija know, some things you know, like we pull on each other, we lean on each other. I like that in community. I think that's very important in community. That is. You know, we don't have to know. I don't even want. That's why I love the chapter because I don't got to know it all. I can just say. <laughs> then you start to go, God, I can see you. This one, our man is the iridologist, you know, send you to the doula. I don't, I don't have to know. That's why I love it because it's a place where you could just, you know, if the, if, if the client comes to me and I know, I know I'm not the best person for them. I will gently send them to someone else. But like I said, attributes of a practitioner, please call the person back when I refer them to you. Please don't say, well, Shai, you sent me the da 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 and she didn't call me back. That has been a thorn in my side referring to another practitioner and they don't even call them back. Even to call them back to say, I'm not in business anymore, but let me 
let me call back Shai. She refer you to someone else, or maybe they can refer them to someone else. Because that's what we have a lot of issues with dealing with non people of color. We call them and they don't call us back. Now we come to us and we do that too. And we're in a lot sicker state, so we can't really afford to wait for whoever to call us back who may never call us back. So please call people back, even if you can't help them. You can call mm -hmm. them back anyway. And that's the end, guys. It's 6.23. I told you I wasn't going to keep you all day. <laughs> and that is um, that is the end of the situation. And you guys got any other questions for me? Khadija, the business manager, is here. So she knows about the live situation dealing in the field. So if you have questions, unless you have, do you have a particular situation you want to share, Khadija, of what you... You remember a live situation that you want to share? Um, I think one thing that I can share is, you know, being, for example, like being at the International African Arts, the International African Arts Festival. You know, it's Fourth of July weekend. It's hot outside. You know, people are going, moving back and forth. Like Sister Shai explained before, some of the practitioners they may just want to work and continue working. So, kind of just being there for the extra support for them. You know, not only do we kind of get to disperse some of the customers or clients to different areas, which allows everybody to eat. You know, it also takes some of the stress off of. Uh, you know, certain practitioners that might have an overabundance of people who are interested in their services. And also it gives each practitioner a little time to take a break, you know, have a rest, get some water, you know, eat some food. Sometimes practitioners forget about drinking water. So you got to bring water to them. You know, that's important, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's important too. So really just being like, um, being able to kind of like oversee and, and look at everyone's well-being and, and helping, you know, everything work like a, a well-oiled machine. Not to say that there aren't going to be some hiccups. There, there are going to be things here and there, but that's also about, you know, being able to be flexible and kind of just roll with the punches and whatever it is, you know, as long as you keep your spirits positive and you keep your spirits high, things work out really well. So Felicia, so what do you, what do you think about this mortgage board that is before you? I love it. <laughs> can you hear me? I can I can hear you and I can see you. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, no, I this is this is perfect. Um I I do well in community settings and it's always inspiring and it feels good when you're surrounded by people or other like-minded beings that you you have a goal and although it may not you know the the path is not exactly the same but when you can get there in in a in a way that's not um destructive to each other i think it's it's great and i'm i'm here for the differences <laughs> mm -hmm. you know teach me you know teach me something i don't know mm -hmm. show show me a different way so so in terms of volunteering, what do you think you would fit in? What, what, what are you attracted oh, to? What is your for, for volunteering? Mm -hmm. Um, I would volunteer a little bit of everywhere. I guess it's where whatever I'm able to do in what capacity, I would I would lend a helping hand. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I'm not good with setup. Okay. Um. Break breakdown is not my thing. Setting up and breaking down is not my thing. I'm more of like customer service, making sure everybody's hydrated, people are taking their breaks when they're supposed to, things like that. But setting up, no. <laughs> okay. Got that? You got that? Got that, Khadija? So you wrote down Khadija's number, right, Mama? Oh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. 
Okay. Can you send it to me? Chat, um, Khadija, can you put it in a, is there a little chat box here yeah, somewhere? There's, there's a chat. Where is it? Uh, okay. Okay, there's a chat box there. So you could just type it in, Mama, so if you have your information. I guess everybody will have your information. Is the chat recorded too? No. I, yeah, Not I think there's, there's a way you, when at the end, they'll give you like a, like a text of everything that's in the chat. Okay. But it, we didn't really use it that much. I guess I should have. It wasn't that many of us, so I didn't think we really was going to use it that much at all. No, that's, that's fine. I think, um, I just have to update my contact information because I think at the chapter meeting, my contact information was up and then I started to get like a whole bunch of scam calls and stuff. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to ask so that I can try and avoid that because they, they just stopped calling, but they had started calling shortly after the meeting. So I didn't know if it was like a correlation with that. I'll update my contact information so that everybody has the same thing. So Felicia, can you put yours in the chat too? So Khadija will have your sure. information. Mm -hmm. I think everybody has mine, but I'll put mine too, just in case. Okay. You know, see, where did Olivia? Olivia just disappeared on me. You know, the target by me, when you go in the back, you don't get good service, so. Oh. Who's that talking? Is that Olivia? No, that was Felicia. That's Felicia, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay, I will put, I'm going to put Miss Olivia's information in the chat. Mm -hmm. So everybody can get a hold of her too. Especially Khadija, so you not you know who's what. Because I know she wanted to volunteer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so any anything else? Any other questions for me, guys? Um, no, that was it for right now. Okay. All right, well, pencil in June 16th for the volunteer meeting. Hopefully okay. that still works for Khadija. That's going to work for you, sis? My number has changed. I'm sorry, I put it in the chat. Oh, you got a new yeah. number. Yay, yeah, thank you. Let me just... Thank you. Any question regarding volunteer sis? Are you everything clear? Yes, everything is clear. Um, so we just uh, we just send out the information where where we would like to volunteer in in which category. Okay. And also, since Sister um, Khadija is here, she's the chapter manager as well as the volunteer manager too. Her number is in the chat too, so definitely reach out to her as well if you know exactly what you want to do. Do you see everybody's phone numbers in the chat there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm just making sure um, Olivia has can see everybody's number. So she'll be able to reach out to everyone. And Def, I said pencil in June 16th for the volunteer meeting with Khadija and myself. And if you know of anybody else who you think would be good to volunteer, please spread the word. Because um, festival season will be here in no time. And you guys want to have good volunteers working with you. You don't want to, we want to vet them all. So y'all not working and they sitting on their phone doing nothing. So we got to make sure we get a good quality then, um, volunteers. All right, so I'm just saying you can lean on me. I ain't going to try to sing the song. <laughs> when you're not strong, <laughs> be your friend. <laughs> all right, so all, all said and done, I guess we'll say good night to everybody. Um, I guess the recording will be up.
I'm going to put the recording out if you guys want me to send you the recording. That would be great. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, ta-ta, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs> Good luck.